Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at Eggs of Swords Chapter 5 which is Marauders Issue 13 and this is the Alex Ross uh, cover which is um, Iceman there is a sketch version which is super expensive and I'm not getting but they are beautiful Got this little quote here Onslaught Survivor and basically it's when the weather stuff started happening, we knew we were safe. It's basically storm arrived, we knew it was fine. And pretty much we find a storm deep in fort and she is dreaming about one of the riddles that Polaris, um, Polaris, Polaris? Hmm. Sounds weird coming out of my mouth. Um, spoke about. And um, Kitty Pride turns up and says, I thought I would find you here. When you got stuff on your mind, you go somewhere green and you tend to your plants and flowers, which she always did. She always found peace in that. Um, I love the sides here. It kind of gives a little history of when Storm was a child and then Storm as a, a, an adult, different kind of phases in, I guess, her career. So Key Price says, I know I can't come with you, but and I know my sword's not chosen, but if you want it, it's yours. Uh, however, this is one of those moments that Storm has to do on herself, by herself. So we get a, a little history lesson here about this sword, Skybreaker. And the history, as you can probably instantly tell, is around Wakanda, who has greater ties than Storm to Wakanda. It was always going to be Storm. It made the most sense. So it talks about past, seeing its powers, that sort of thing. And it makes sense because it's got like a little... It looks like it's got a little storm connection there, so which makes the most sense. So we got uh, Vita, I'm not going to try and say the second name, I apologize, and I'm not even sure if that is a gentleman or a female writing that story, and to be honest with you, I'm a little bit behind on Marauders, um, probably not that far behind, but it's not a tile that I read week in and week out. So, quite simple, Storm arrives to see her ex-sister-in-law and the king's mother. So, we got Cherie and Queen Raimondo. So, and, and she is welcome and she does obviously wonder where the king is. The king is not there. So, just to outline the thing. So she tells what's going on and pretty much the first horsemen of Apocalypse are here and if we don't stop them they will take crack on and then they will take the world. Pretty much that straightforward. So Wakanda, they, they immediately offer the assistance of uh, soldiers and warriors. However, it's not that it's magic, it's a contest, it's on other world. So, and it requires a specific sword to do battle. So, uh, Cherie says that she, she can make a sword, you know, an amazing sword. But um, Queen Mother says, my daughter, you're not realizing it. This is about history, about history and swords and weapons in history. So she talks about some other things that have been important, which is King's Blade, Claws, Spear, Panther's Claw, sorry, the nation's maker. The blade belonged to the founder of Wakanda, but it's not that, it's the Skybreaker. So they, <gasps> as they do, it's not possible. You know this is impossible. The moment that goes, we will pretty much have a riot on our hands. It cannot happen. Um, but my son will return in a few days. Wait a few weeks. Wait for him to come. Sorry, a few days. Sorry. Wait for him to come. Have a conversation with him. It's his decision to make. And uh, she says she's she's grateful for both uh, your wisdom and your kindness. No, you know where this is leading. Obviously, it's it's. It's quite a straightforward leading comic. Um, nothing too sinister about it. And you can see Suri's already got the suspicions going. 
uh, we have this whole selection section here Selavif uh, I'm not going to read it out to you we have a nice uh, memorial page, double page spread for Chadwick passed obviously sadly this year and then after that we get Mercade Masaryk ah damn it I'm not going to be able to say it. But there's a whole piece here about that word there that I'm not going to try and say. So, um, Shuri comes with some food. She knows that her sister was uh, brooding. Um, and she doesn't have to brood on an empty stomach. And they debate the, the whole thing. Um, and, and it's... A little bit political here, um, a little bit about the, the tender relationship after um, the annulment of uh, Storm and Black Panther's um, marriage. And it's about, we've accepted your flowers, they've given us all sorts of cures. And she said, we've given them without any hidden agenda, we just want to be accepted. And she says, mutants have always been accepted into our world. No matter what's going on, we may not have um, signed a, a treaty, but they're always welcome here. And um, she said to keep, and basically what she's hinting at is to keep the peace, you have to wait a little bit longer. And Storm's like, you don't understand. If I don't get this sword, the war's already lost. So, and the other thing that is um, going around this Storm and, and Black Panther have clearly been rebuilding their relationship um, after I'm not sure how long time has spanned in Marvel world, but um, in the comic world, it's probably been almost um, almost ten years. It's been eight, so it, it's it's been a long time since that relationship ended. Um, it's not a relationship that I was too fond of. I think it took Storm away from a pivotal point just after House of M, um, when perhaps she would have been needed to um, support Cyclops and maybe he wouldn't have gone and, and made some of the decisions he had if he had that extra bit of counsel um, but then again he was doing whatever he had to, to survive so sorry I've digressed there um, so they kind of agree to disagree and, and perhaps bring it up in the morning. She reminds him, her that I'm your sister, but remember, you know, I have an obligation to the people. And Storm also reminds herself, I've got an obligation as a protector of this world, you know, because that's what she does. They, it's never just been about... Um, protecting mutants. It has been about protecting the world. How many times have X-Men saved the world? How many times have Storm saved the world? Too many for it to be. If I don't get a sword, you're all doomed. I cannot fail in this mission, basically. So we get a little flashback of um, Black Panther talking to Storm about uh, how everything works in this temple. About the drones. So she sets off uh, an impulse, impulse, so a surge is detected, so systems are being rebooted, and it's going to take 30 minutes. So she goes in, she takes on some priests, she gets caught some names, and vice versa, and yeah, that's quite simple and self-explanatory. And she arrives at Skybreaker, she gets, just as she's about to get it. Suri interferes and she says several times, they both say it, um, you can come back and it's, you know, all's forgiven, let's just forget it and go back and let's talk about it, let's wait for my brother, let's move on. Because Suri is not a fool, we knew that at the beginning, she, she always knew what Storm was going to do, hence why she tried to do the whole conversation with food in the first place. So, it all goes downhill, and they end up having uh, a fight for quite a bit of time, and sorry to remind her, remember, I'm not just a <laughs> uh, an inventor, I've also been a protector more often than not as well. So, anyway, they fight lots, um, they're both, sorry, it actually probably makes it easier for Storm by putting up such a brilliant fight, and being in this position where she could pretty much win. 
but she forgets Storm's powers. So Storm takes her out. She's about, she thinks she's finally escaped, and then boom, um, she's hit that 30 minute mark. That's a long 30 minutes, I tell you, of fighting. <laughs> um, so, anyway, her access has been revoked, which you would expect her after she's, the marriage has failed. You know, who wouldn't revoke those sort of um, access controls to the, some of their most protected um, ancestral history weapons, etc.? You know, um, however, something that uh, her ex husband didn't tell her about. Was these creatures Skybreaker Protocol? So, which they look awesome. They look like big panther robots. So she starts using her lightning to take them out, and pretty much he is there. But guess what? Ch Chala has arrived, quite simply, and um, he's after being told it will only be a few days. He's back all of a sudden. Why couldn't he have just come back earlier? They could have had a conversation and it would have been over because he tells her, I would have let you have it. I would have understood. Why would you betray me like this? And it's, I know it's a comic and I know it wouldn't have had the same impact if it had gone down that line. I completely understand that. But it's just, you just, goodness sake. Why couldn't you have just called him and said, Hey, X, do you know I've got this end of the world stuff? Can you just, you know, Help me out and let me have the sword. Sure, I'll let you do that. Just bring it back and you can buy me lunch. End the story. But then there wouldn't have been a real story. And we would have all taken the mick out of this whole thing and said what a crappy issue it was. But it's not a crappy issue. So he lets Storm go. However, he makes a decision to destroy the gate. Now, if uh, anyone wants to come from Krakow, they've got to come back, come in the old-fashioned way and not sneak in the dead of night. So I do like that part um at all and then we get this whole spill on sword skybreaker and what it's all about secret history the forging the attributes the weight and all that stuff how tall it is so kitty iliana and logan are waiting for her and it's welcome to the party and nobody doubted that she would do it and let's be honest if they don't get these swords we're gonna be sorely disappointed because we want that contest to happen don't we we want the battle to happen so, um, a very nice issue, um, some nice dialogue, and I felt like it flowed really, really well, and I enjoyed it. Um, you know, it was just simple and straightforward, it, exactly what sometimes we want as fans, I just want a straightforward read. I did feel like this issue was slightly bigger than a normal issue, I'm not sure if it was just me, but it felt um, a bit heavier than an issue. So maybe there was a few extra pages just to get some of the, the extra dialogue in and some of the fights in there. So um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. My page is Smurd P. Follow me on Twitter at Smurd P. And as always, embrace the geekiness and take care. Goodbye.